morning and welcome to another <laughs> vlog in which i am planning to take you guys with me today to um a british ugandan doctors event in london so it's it's like 9 a.m right now we've been up since 5 30 my clock up at 5 30 because i already had a nap i'm now undoing my hair then i'll have breakfast and i'll dress up then anyway <laughs> let's see how much we can show you today i'm done I'm doing my hair, so I had twists, so I'm trying, I'm doing a twist out. Yeah, first, katogo and liver and a big mug of tea. So yummy. Yeah. yeah. This is our outfit of the day. <laughs> so here I am, this top should be, um, I wanted to like button it and then tuck it in but it didn't look nice so I'm gonna just be like this and if I feel like I want to look more formal I'll button it up otherwise this is me this is my car and we're setting off now we are in town this is Evelyn Evelyn I'm so hello hi guys how are you to be aha to be to your town you too we are so ready there you go there you go which is our London so when I reached I was not sure why am I smart enough I don't know so I went to a charity shop and I bought a top so Evelyn says this one is better but we shall see but anyway we are here we are now going to take you along as usual my kabuza kuantu
we reached, we arrived at the Uganda house and I thought I would just introduce you to a few people who are here because there's a lot of Ugandan doctors in the UK and a lot of you are not here, Mulie Yomukamoli. Please, can you come out, come and be part of the community? And I have for you here, Rodney, who is the first one. Hello, Rodney. Hello. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm Who's up, I'm Rodney and uh, we are here at the Uganda house. We are waiting for you guys, please come. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're excited. Let's, okay. Uh... So Rodney has been in the UK for how long now? I think it's about five months in January. So five it's months, so you're kind of a newbie. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm new. Yeah. How was it? What's your first impression of UK? My first impression of the UK is, uh, well, it seems to be, things seem to be the same everywhere. Of course there are differences, yeah. but yeah. with time you begin to appreciate that things are the same everywhere. Yeah. Uh, the same challenges yeah. back home as sort of the same, but yeah. it's better, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's nice, what's one thing you've really liked and one thing you've hated? I think, really like. I think one thing that really frustrated me when I was back home is the way generally we in Uganda handle things. It's a laissez-faire yeah. and I'm, I'm sort of like a type A personality so yeah. I like things to be yeah. straight and so I like that. Yeah. So it's it, at least yeah, they try, they really, yeah. really try. Yeah. It's, things are straight, things are consistent, if it's supposed to be done like this, it's done like this. I yeah, agree. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, one thing I've not really liked, uh, mm. what? Um, maybe the monotonous life. Um, it's um, it's it's. Oh, well, I'm an introvert. Mm. Yeah, but so but for me, still. I can survive better. Yeah. But still, but still, uh, you need uh, you need to be more outgoing. I'm I'm here to make more friends. I want yeah. to play some soccer. I see lots of football pitches yeah. around. I think yeah. tomorrow I'm going to. Yeah. Whether I have someone to play with or not, I'm just yeah. going to wear my boots and yeah. I go to the pitch and I yeah. just kick that ball. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's a that's a good. The, um, a good yeah. thing to mention. Oh, yeah. like you need community, and when you're new, you have to create it yourself. You have to create it yourself. You have yeah. to plug yourself into spaces where there are other people. Yeah. You want to go to church if you're a church goer. You want to go to events at Uganda House if you're a Uganda doctor and you're seeing the doing things. Eh? And for you there by yourself, eh? then come and join, meet people. Eh? Yeah. They're, most people are really nice. Eh? Yeah, they're they're really nice. They're really you, nice. If you on the streets. People, you know, it's how London is. People don't want to make eye contact. Yes. Like that. People but, are busy. But when you meet them in person at work, they're, they're nice. Uh, when you know them personally, yeah, they're really nice people. Yeah. And I think uh, the English, I think, are the most polite people in the world. Bambi, yeah. yeah. They are polite. Even yes. their racism is polite. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like America. <laughs> so, Anange, come to UK and join Buddha. Kale. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> Well, they're so good, they're so yummy. Yeah. Great. Great. to benefit from the association. Um, we want to know what your problems are, what difficulties you're facing, and that will enable us to explore ways uh, of providing support. So we will have time to. Um, the 
this baby under two year old. And when we arrived, like she was like the five year old I mean, eh? she didn't know what to do. She was seeing all these babies, seeing all these kids' toys. And then she looked at me, and then I said, Yeah, go on, go on. And then she would approach like a little PlayStation, like maybe play kitchen. And then she first looks at me, and I'm like, Yeah, play, play, you know. And it reminded me of something that happens in like normal psychology of life, which is that when you're growing up, eh, you go to a place, before you, when you enter, eh, you first see, is anyone having a, a zombie? Is anyone else having a samosa? A zombie and a zombie are a samosa, the same thing. Who's having a man? Does you don't just go and start taking the drinks because you want to see what everyone else is doing. Eh? That's how that's how we live. Eh? So we are constantly looking for permission. So you're looking for permission to do different things. Eh? So if someone does this, then you're like, okay, I can do it too. So that was that's what was happening with my five-year-old. Is that she was looking for permission, and I did keep giving her that permission, and eventually she was comfortable. So for me, I feel like when you grow up, you're an adult now. You don't need permission. You don't need permission from anyone. You can give yourself permission. So the turning point in my life for me to feel like I'm living my best life eh, is that I gave myself permission to do everything I was to, to, to do. Medicine was not always what I wanted to do. Nelson, I think, Nelson shared how his parents forced him. My parents also forced me. I mean, if you're here and your parents didn't force you, then <laughs> good for you. And I think. <laughs> It's still, it's really nice to be doing what you want. Maybe you live with your purpose. Eh? And also, even though my parents forced me, I still feel like it's the right place for me. Like, I'm happy to be a doctor. And I agree that medicine was actually the right thing for me. I just didn't know it. But I want to have a career that I am happy with, that building all these other things that I always wanted. But I was looking for permission, but no one was looking for permission. No one was going to tell me that, okay, now you can do medicine, but you can also be a YouTuber. You can also be an influencer. I'm not. I'm not really. <laughs> I think Catherine is a real influencer. But when I gave myself permission to do everything that I always wanted to do, then I feel like I'm really thriving. Enjoying? I am. I'm having so much fun. I'm so glad that I came. What have you enjoyed the most so far? I've enjoyed meeting other people, meeting new people, meeting a lot of people in real life. Yeah. A lot of people I've only seen them online and that's okay. Show me what you have. Yeah. Enjoy the most today. The, the boncha. Okay. And the rose leaf. All right. And the chapatis. And the chapatis. How about meeting everyone? What was your most exciting? Oh, I'm here because Kate Logan. Really? Yes. It has been long. Yeah. yeah. So do you feel at home? Yes. Yeah. Most than at home. All okay. right. All right. Yeah. Yeah.
we've had such a lovely time. Evelyn here got bored and left. <laughs> <laughs> she left? Uh -huh. What did you do when you went? I went to town, I moved around. Mm. The Trafalgar Square, uh -huh. the gallery. Uh -huh. I enjoyed. Uh -huh. She enjoyed. <laughs> and then, um, and then now she came back. And then I, I had I such back. a nice time. Yeah. I think I hope by now you have seen. Yeah. We are now walking back Thanks home. We're going to that. Out. <laughs> we're now going to that the tube to get the underground. <laughs> Is it the underground to get the yeah. tube to go to our trip? Basically, we're going back, and Micah was so good. Let me show you. You are so good. It's been such a lovely day and I really enjoyed myself. You for should come. People have been telling me that I am shorter in real life. <laughs> but I look so tall on, on social media. But I'm actually to shorter. And yeah. Hey guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> so hi guys, this is Shamim. We actually met for the first time today in real life and I was telling Shamim how people were really impacted by her video. If you haven't watched it, I'll link it up here. <laughs> and yeah, hi Shamim, how was the day for you? It was good. It was great to finally meet in person. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. And really enjoyed and if you're a Ghana doctor out there, you should join us. Eh? Come and we're going to have other events, virtual events, in-person events. Yeah, we'll see you there. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.